Hey, what is up guys and gals and YouTube? This is Transaron3 coming at you with some more Transformers action. Today we're taking a look at a retro review. We are taking a look at the Generation 2 Megatron. And, uh, give you a little history of it. It uh, came out in 1992. And it is, uh, the tank that he's supposed to be is the M1A, M1A1 Abraham's main battle tank. And, uh, in 90, uh, since uh, Megatron, they were going to try to re-release Megatron since he was a gun, they made him a completely different figure back in 92. So, I'm one year older than this figure, actually, so, which is funny. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, this Generation 2 Megatron, I actually have the other version of Megatron. It'll be a separate review for another time, but, uh, but uh, here's the other Megatron. I'll do a separate review because this one here gets released later on. I think in 96 or 97. But, uh, might be wrong. But, uh, but yeah, there's the Generation 2 Megatron. And, uh, and, uh, this Megatron, uh, uh, based off and it was actually in the G.I. Joe, uh, Transformers G.I. Joe Megatron was uh, in the comic uh, Megatron was created from Cobra Commander uh, and that's how Megatron got his new body from in the comics so so anyway yeah very neat so uh, as far as I know it's like that's that's how Megatron got re recreated in the comics uh, Cobra Commander uh, so yeah but anyway I may be wrong but you know again what could you do guys what could you do anyway Megatron, he rolls on uh, four little wheels. He rolls back and forth very nicely. Very nice purple and green tank. A very nice heft to him. You can see he's still got his Generation 2 logo on the side there. Very nice. Um, there would be a sticker right here. There's a sticker missing here and a sticker missing here and the sticker's back here. I ain't too worried about stickers. As long as it's uh, his uh, Generation 2 Decepticon logo is on there and these side stickers, uh, it really don't matter to me. But, uh, anyway, uh, there's a gimmick that he actually had for this figure. Um, you push down on the tank, and he's supposed to make tank noise. Uh, he does not. You can see I just put lines in my table trying to do it. He does not have the rolling gimmick. Uh, the button must be, uh, frozen, or, uh, the batteries, there's brand new batteries in this, so. Um, it's just the gimmick just don't work. So, I've been trying to get the gimmick to go for a couple days before I got this review. Um, yeah. I've been staring at him for two days here. Getting ready to, I was wanting to, debating on doing a review for for you guys. But well, anyway, <clears throat> there is Megatron in his tank mode. You can see he's just a uh, purple and green tank. Camouflaged. Very neat. Um, he does come with, uh, two accessories. He comes with this piece here. You can untab it, put it back on wherever you want. And they also comes with a machine gun that can get mounted right there on top of his tank. And you can wield it, hold it in uh, robot mode. Anyway, size comparison wise for this thing, oh my. Here's C. John High just standing right beside him. Just for a size comparison. And then here's a Legends class figure. <laughs> Grab Hound here. There we go. Here's the Siege Deluxe Hound. Right beside Megatron. So yeah, he's a big dude. He's like a leader class. Or commander class, or something like that. They called it back then, but uh, very neat. I never had any of these Generation Two figures as uh, toys as I was a kid, but uh, whenever you get older, you find find out, and it's like, oh yeah, more to collect. <laughs> anyway, he also has another gimmick. He has a firing gimmick. Uh, you open this panel here, and there's missiles in here. I have three missiles in here. I think I'm missing one. But the other two are stored on his feet. You can load them in here, like this, right in the grooves. Close this up. This was his notorious gimmick. 
and you can actually hear it cock back. You hear it cock back. <laughs> Get you more. And then you hit it. <laughs> Very neat. Very neat little gimmick that they introduced with this. And then they ended up changing this gimmick for the for the air air nozzle version of Megatron with the later on. Made a mini miniature version of the made it a deluxe instead of like a leader class. But uh very neat. But anyway, enough talking about them. Uh, the details on them, you can still see the chrome is nice and shiny on them. I picked this up at a Comic Con uh, two years back, Sci Fi Valley Con. Um, I think I paid 20 bucks for him, and it was actually really worth it. Um, he was all complete. I think he, he's just missing one missile, but to me, he's complete. So, if you want to be technical, under here, whenever you transform him, I'm just moving these panels out of there. There's a missile stored right in there, and there's a missile stored right in there. So, and then you got three in here. It says you can uh, store four in here. It says four in here and then the two extras in the legs. So I read up on that. So one missile was missing, but I'm not too worried about an extra missile. But uh, you can see the nice Decepticon logo, Generation 2. Very nice. So anyway, enough of me blabbering on. Let's transform them. All right, let me get rid of these components here. You don't have to. You can leave them in for the transformation, but this guy's gonna be huge. Anyway, first thing I want to do here is grab the first sides of the tank like here, off the side like this, and then push down on them, and I'll slide down on that track. Like so. Next up, come in the bottom here, rotate his hand until you can bend his elbow. Like so. Bring his arms forward. And undo these panels here. Untad this and then bring swing the legs out. Bring this down and swing the legs out. And then right here where the knee joint is, clicks into place. His legs pull down these little stubby toes for his feet. Come around the back, you can see where the missiles are stored in here. The missile stored right here, and the missile stored right here. Close these panels back up. Bring this section up. This will clamp into place. Alright. And then uh, doing this one handed, pull the tank tank uh, cannon over. And then uh, spring activated gimmick releases Megatron's head. Oh yeah. So yeah, there is Megatron in his robot mode. And uh, give him his gun. You can hold the gun. And then you can peg this back in the same spot up on top here like this. Or you can, uh, there's another way they, they had it sitting there like this. Or like this. Um, I really, I don't see the difference on it. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, Megatron is in his robot mode. And man, he's an awesome figure. He's a little shelfware, a little, little tad dusty, but I cleaned him off as best as I could. But, uh, looks like someone got in there and started drawing red on stuff. A pre-owned figure. But, uh, I think your sticker's supposed to go there. I'll probably have a little project in the near future doing a sticker tutorial on this guy. I think I might do new stickers on this guy, or may not. So, very neat. So, anyway... His tank, this swivel, uh, this whole cannon section swivels up that much. Swivels up that much. So you can do whatever you want with it. It's very neat. So yeah. Anyway, let me get a size comparison here for you. Iron hide, <laughs> of course. Uh, grab a 
G1. I actually might review this next week for a retro review. I like to try. I want to try to do do some more retro reviews for you. Come on, stay on there. There we go. There's Generation One Double Dealer. There we go. And Double Dealer is complete. <laughs> Definitely complete. And let me see if I can try to get this in frame here. Not knocking stuff off my shelf. Might do a uh, custom uh, video of this. He needs really needs to do another. I need to do another video. Of the, this is my custom Star Saber that Plasticon Studios did a long uh, a couple years back. There's a Star Saber. He's holding a little target master. Um, so yeah, there's there's a good uh, size comparison for him. Definitely, definitely worth it. Anyway, get Star Saber off the side. This is a, it's actually a knockoff of Star Saber, but he actually painted it. Plasticon uh, Studios actually uh, custom painted it to make it look like it. His original colors. So anywho, there is Generation 2 Megatron, ladies and gentlemen. Very neat. Articulation. His arms move up and down and around. So, got the elbow joint there. They actually swivel this way, too. Nothing in the knees unless you unclick these. Um, there's another gimmick for him. If you push his arm up. Like he's shooting at you, and then push his head down. Mega, 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 if you find him in your yard sale, even if he's not complete, I'm sure someone in the Transformers community geek group and stuff or in eBay and all that will have the parts for him. Um, it's an awesome figure. Highly recommended. So yeah, there is Generation 2 Megatron, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. This is Trans Aaron 38 reviewing the new my, uh, my retro review of the Generation 2 Megatron. Until next time, fellas, this is Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep look out for any new videos headed your way. And don't forget to check out Web Junior 1977 Prime John 1. Liquid Cool 440. And uh, my good buddy Greg Monroe on Facebook. Their links will be down in the description down below. Until next time, fellas. This is Trans Air 38 talking again. I'm out later. And. Yeah. He attacks. <laughs> later.